Good evening, folks. Our reading tonight is from Matthew chapter 12, verses 15 to 21. Verse 15. Aware of this, Jesus withdrew from that place. A large crowd followed him. It goes on to talk about how Jesus worked, that this was a fulfillment of prophecy. He didn't need to raise his voice. He didn't need to quarrel and cry out. He could be gentle because the crowds followed him. Here is a picture of revival. When God's spirit really moves on a land, the people of God are not striving to get people in. Throughout my life, we have not been in a period of revival, and it has been a strain and a struggle to present the gospel to people. And by God's grace, we have seen some saved. But when revival comes, the crowds flock to Jesus. In this account here, Jesus withdrew from the place and a large crowd followed him. He didn't have to go and seek out a large crowd. They were drawn to him. When we're praying for our nation, we are praying that such a revival comes, that crowds are seeking out the Lord. Until that day, we will strive to present the gospel to people. We will strive to present a relevant uh, message to the folk outside. But we pray for revival when people are flocking in to God's house. And we've read about revivals around the world where this has happened. And we pray that we will see one in our lifetime. This is our prayer. Our Father, we pray that you will move upon our land and upon our town and we will see people drawn to your Son, the Lord Jesus. We'll see a move of your Spirit so mighty that we will not have to strive to go and present the gospel to people, but people will be drawn in. Lord, we pray for revival in our land. Until that day, cause us to be faithful, to work and to plant seed, even though the conditions are hostile. Uh, but Lord, we pray that, in, that you will give uh, mercy in our striving and we will see some saved. But Lord, we do look out and pray for that time when you will move in great power by your Spirit and people will be drawn to your Son to be their saviour. We pray this in his name. Amen.